What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Travis. I'm the owner operator of Red Tie Entertainment. And then you can tell by the, the title of this video, I'm going to be doing another product review. And it's by our friends over at Photo Booth Supply Company. And if you have watched my other videos, then you know that I already bought a photo booth from this company. I just got this product today, haven't opened it, haven't done anything with it, so this is gonna be a first experimental opening and setting it up for you guys. And what this is in this small little package is the photo booth backdrop. Um, we're gonna get into it, but stay tuned and check this out. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Like I said, this video we are going to be opening up for the first time our photo booth supply company, Photo Booth Backdrop. It's supposed to be easy and simple. It's in a small little bag right here on this table. I'm gonna take it out of the bag and put it together and show you exactly what it looks like. I'm kind of staging my room. This room right here, we're gonna pretend like this is my photo booth table with my props on it. And then I'm going to put the backdrop against this wall and then pretend like the photo booth is on this wall shooting it uh, for our guests. So I'm gonna get into it and open up the bag. So the first thing that I have right here on top is what I believe is our photo booth backdrop cover. But they give you a nice little bag here. Photo Booth Supply Company branded bag. Uh, we'll get into that, but. Yep, this is gonna be the backdrop. Next, we actually have all of our pieces. It's this nice little aluminum, I wanna say, pieces. This is very light. This doesn't weigh nearly anything at all. Um, maybe 20 pounds, maybe 20 pounds. It's not heavy at all. And as you can tell, these are gonna be the feet. It has these little spring. So you know, I'm assuming what's gonna happen is we're gonna put the poles down on top of this. This is gonna keep it in place. So let's go ahead. There are no instructions. So that's interesting. We have a whole bunch of pieces. So we have our feet. We have four of these just long poles. We have uh, curved corners. This is more of a right angle. We have extension pieces. So you can see this one actually labeled extension. There's two pieces in there. But now I'm kind of seeing how they have it. I wish there was instructions though. Maybe I'm just missing that. Nope, don't see any instructions, but I see what they're doing here. On all these pieces, they're labeled. That says 05, so I'm assuming the, the numbers go together. And I'll put a picture on the screen right now of what it's generally supposed to look like. So if I didn't mention already, this photo booth supply company is the company that I bought my photo booth from. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out up here. I'll link that in the video. But on that, they actually had a QR code that you could scan on the outside of the case that would show you exactly how to do it. So maybe I'm missing something, but I don't see any instructions, but I'm gonna try and put it together just based off of the picture. So as I'm taking this apart, they have these nice little, these are like elastic bands that are gonna hold my main bars together. Oh, now I'm seeing. So they kind of have this dummy proof. 
as I'm just taking off the plastic, the, these bars are all together by a little rubber, or by little bands. So I'm assuming these are all just gonna snap together. I'm gonna have my three, four sides. Let's hope this room's big enough to put this in. So all I'm doing right here is just snapping these little pieces in and then it holds it together. So this end is covered. It says number seven. This end is covered. It says number six. So one of the things I really like about this company is that they really think about the person, the consumer, you, the purchaser, because everything is made super compact. It doesn't take up a lot of room to transport this. I know the owner of this company is a photographer in the wedding industry, so he has experience in the field and just wanted to make things easier for us vendors when taking their stuff out to get their weddings. That over there, and we're gonna keep opening these. So, here I got all these poles put together. You can see two of them are longer than the other ones. These ones are shorter, these ones are taller. Okay, guys, I had to look up on their website what, what it looks like. And I'm sure there's instructional videos, which this is gonna be another instructional video, so I do the work for you so you don't have to if you were to buy this piece. But I had to look up the, the picture just to see where all the pieces go. But So now I totally understand, because I was a little curious about the four bars, but one of the bars connects both of the feet together. So let's get a different cam camera angle and set this up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the feet and one of these right angle pieces, and I'm going to connect these two. This way, a pole's gonna come out here to the other foot, and then this is gonna be the, the one beam. And now what we're gonna do, this says a number on it. Seven. This is number seven. So we're gonna find pole number seven. Which this is gonna be way bigger than I thought. Oh. This is serious. So you can see here, I put together the bottom uh, straight bar with the feet here, and I'm gonna put the vertical bars up here next. And now I'm going to take our backdrop cover out of the bag. So real quick, a cool thing about this is that there's two patterns on this. If you check out their website, they have a few different options. I got a marble looking option. So we have a dark side and then we have a light side and it looks gonna look like marble. One of the sides here has a zipper. The zipper is going to be on the bottom. Guys, looking good so far. I have the cover on everything. I don't have it zipped up. I just have it tight, pushed all the way on. So I'm just gonna pick it up. You definitely need a big space for this. Now this is what the zipper does. Instead of leaving this open, the zipper will zip around this bottom bar.
now we have it all set up. All right guys, so there you go. There's a full angled shot of it. I have it all set up right here. Not bad, you can see this is marble. Just like fake marble. Guess aren't really gonna, shouldn't push against it, but it is a little, let's see where you see it. Very easily wobbles a lot. And one thing I recommend doing with these little feet, these are, there's Allen screws at the bottom of it, Allen wrench screws at the bottom of it. I would recommend tightening, tightening them up. Uh, when you get those right now, these are loose. Uh, so the feet kind of move, but this is what it looks like. I have it all set up. Maybe took me 10 minutes to figure it all out. Uh, like I said, one thing, I don't, maybe I missed it. I don't see any instructions. So I just had to do it off of the numbers on the bars and what the pictures look like. But this is what it looks like. So, like I said, I really like this company. Um, all their products, what they do is make it really small and compact. Like all this whole big thing right here fits in this little bag and it probably weighs probably less than 10 pounds. It's super light. Um, it's gonna add such a cool little flair to our weddings when we do them and people get photo booths, so. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. There's gonna be more videos just like this, product reviews, gig logs when we can start doing weddings again, and stuff about business. So that's all the stuff I'm interested in. I'm trying out here to help people. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next video.